Now, as a step up to the last part of this demo video, I'm going to create a widget that is going to be shown eventually on the analysis and reporting dashboard of WeAgree. Very appealing part of the demonstration, but what I'm going to show you now is I'm going to create a button like these over here and I'm going to show you how that button sort of automatically converts into a widget that you will then be able to, to show on the analysis or reporting dashboard and equally on the my wizard dashboard. What am I going to do then? First of all, I'm going to filter the overview over here for contracts with the status high priority or medium priority. That basically means only the urgent ones and the medium ones are to be filtered out. I might as well add some further filtering for organizational units or business units if you wish. I might also further filter this down to certain user groups like uh, procurement, legal department or sales department or the likes, but I'm going to limit myself to the general urgent and medium tasks as I have them over here. Now I fold in the overview uh, of what we have right now. These are clearly all the high and medium um, priority tasks, and I'm going to save this as a button. Uh, as you can see, next to the button is a buttonize uh, button, and it allows me to uh, define, first of all, the color of the button that I would like to show, and I make it red. Here we are, high and medium contracts, and it filters out only those contracts of high and median priority. Now, we're now entering the last part and quite an appealing part of the uh, walkthrough demonstration where we go to the analysis reporting dashboard. As you see, there are quite a number of widgets. They report or allow for reporting on various aspects of the business. First of all, what, uh, what you see is the countries where we do business. It indicates that there are 29 contracts that we have pending in France. Uh, there are some 19 in Germany and some 155 in the Netherlands. Procurement oriented contracts are two of them with two suppliers in France and four of them in Germany. I also have a clickable overview of contracts that we have signed over the past few months. And for example, here are two agency agreements. And if I want to know what these agreements are, I can simply click on it and it moves me to an overview or reporting page where these two contracts are actually shown and I can dig into it and find out what those contracts were about. Let's go back to the dashboard. Then... What you see is overview of the average value of distributorships, the average contract value. You can see the pending business transactions currently. And you can also see which contracts are under the responsibility of Bernard H, Jacques or Marianne Fox. And I can see uh, what she is doing or where she is running short of time. And uh, of course, what you see over here is the one where, that we've just seen the distribution agreement for the Netherlands, uh, where there may be action required for Mayan. Then I also here on this dashboard have a view of the pending e-signing transactions. So I have an overview of the entire user groups of which I am a member. Of course, you can see how many contracts have been e-signed over the past few months. You can see whether there are any pending or rejected contracts. There is none. Uh, everything is uh, well managed uh, in that respect. Also, measurement widgets are on the dashboard. For example, what is the average time of the e-signing? So it may give some gamification, some sport to bring this number down. Similar number, uh, what is the average time to approval? of any submitted contract uh, that is subject to approval. And then finally, you have those widgets that allow you to monitor the usage of WeAgree and see how many of the users have been logged in. You can fine tune this for individual users or user groups so that you can see who with which user profile, who in which uh, user groups or which user groups and who individually have been using WeAgree and change the date range on which uh, reporting is being made.
You can also monitor the licenses available of the WeAgree Wizard in a widget. And altogether, as you see, uh, this um, dashboards give you a very powerful overview of the business ran through WeAgree. You could also make a contract portfolio analysis. You can analyze what are the first draft Q&A answers given. So in case we as a business are sending out the contracts, we can analyze how we send out uh, and the which uh, parameters we send out those contracts in order to fine tune or optimize the direction in which people do their proposals to the counterparties. Now, one final step before ending the demo walkthrough video is I wanted to put the widget that we have just created on this dashboard. And then we find the high and medium priority action contracts over here. And I can simply drag it onto the dashboard and you will see that these are all the high and medium priority uh, contracts. Configuring these widgets may look feel difficult but the reality is that it is extremely easy every widget has a gear and you just click on it and it allows you to configure the settings for this particular widget and it will be adjusted according to these settings you can fine tune or zoom in on user groups as you can see on contract types for contract sheets uh, for uh, CLM purposes you may fine tune on a date range and if you set a certain date range then it will walk along over time with uh, so that it is updated two months from now now for the then last seven or 12 months or whatever your date range uh, may have been save the changes and it updates the widget just like that now this concludes more or less the walkthrough demo you might be quite as inspired and enthusiastic about the we agree wizard as we are but even if not you will hopefully have seen how powerful we agree can support you in all your contracting work. Now, thank you for your time. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact me. We are very happy, happy to answer any of them. Thanks a lot.